We are in our Super Home Surplus kitchen with our holistic chef. She runs a food blog called Laura Lee Balance, Laura Lee Goldberg. Woo! She's here. <laughs> she always makes eating healthy and fun, and today is no exception. But what does holistic chef really mean? So it really just means that health is equally important in every other aspect of your life aside from food. So I can help you with the food part, but you have to be thinking about your relationships and your environment and your stress levels and all of that stuff. So it's really a whole life approach to healthy living and healthy eating. To wellness. Cool. Exactly. Okay, well, this has got wellness all over it, but it looks really fun. <laughs> it is fun. Because you've got some kale going here. We've so got kale. What do we call this? So basic, kale. So um, this is my corn, kale, and either feta or goat cheese chickpea cake. And the reason I wanted to offer this in my upcoming cookbook is because chickpeas are magical. They are so versatile and you can actually bake them up into this cake quiche-like consistency. And they're super high in fiber and protein. So it's a really great alternative to some more traditional quiches. And it's also grab and go. These slices hold together really well. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just pop it in some Tupperware and you can actually eat it at room temperature. Because a quiche itself can be heavy. A lot a lot of cream, yes. a lot of eggs. And there's a place for that, and that's a wonderful thing. But for something that's a more regular in your rotation, this is a really nice light alternative. It's also very versatile. You can switch out the cheese, you can add some sausage, you can add different vegetables, whatever you want. Whatever you um, have as long as you do the yes. basics. Okay, so let's see, you have some um, kale yep. that you just kind of rough cut. Two cups of shredded kale and five cloves of garlic because we're not afraid of garlic. Oh my gosh, it smells and, yeah, amazing. Yeah, we cooked it up in some olive oil, so that is ready to go. Okay. It's nice. And here, all I've done, this is such an easy recipe too, I just took a can of chickpeas, drained and rinsed, four eggs, half a cup of canned coconut milk, but you could also use regular milk if that's what you have, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, some onion powder, salt, and pepper, and just blended that up in my food processor. I was going to say, did you do a Vitamix food processor or anything? Mm -hmm. Anything that blends. Anything that blends, you just blend that up, and all okay. we're going to do is, if you would like to do the honors, yes. we are going to put our everything into this bowl. Everything into this yep. one. So okay, we so we'll go this add, way. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, if you didn't catch that combination, we have this recipe on todayinnashville.com and yes. Laura Lee is coming out with a cookbook soon. Yay, yes, my cookbook is the Laura Lee Balance Cookbook. It has 120 plus healthy recipes for the healthy everyday home cook and I'm super excited about it. It's coming out um, at the end of May, but it is now available for pre-order on Amazon at the lowest price ever. Oh my gosh. So, so yes. it's like a little, pre if you do a pre-order, pre you get a nice good price. It's $13 off, yeah. Fire roasted corn? Yes, okay, so this is one of my favorites from Trader Joe's. This is a Trader Joe's special. I've seen um, it, You can yeah. use any frozen corn, but this is my particular favorite. It's delicious, and that's half of a cup, and then we're gonna do half of a cup of feta cheese. You could use goat cheese, you could use cheddar, really whatever you want works. Then it just reminds me of spring. I know. You know well, I did think this was a good kind of springy recipe. Right. So now um, that fire roasted corn is in the freezer section yep, at Trader Joe's, it's fabulous. and it just gives it a little extra zing. Just a little something. Okay. A little something. Okay. You are using a spring phone pan. Yes. Which to me all pan. of a sudden goes scary. Ah. I know, so scary, but it's not. It's okay. so simple. You just you basically just pop that sucker together and pour everything in here and we're okay. going to bake it at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Okay. However, if all you have is a cast iron pan, you can use that too. I wouldn't use a regular skillet, something non-stick, but a cast iron pan would be great. Okay. Very okay. rustic. Yes. Um, so I will, I'll do, I'll do this. Yes, I'll, please. I'll pour this in and it's going to be in an e e thin, it. even layer. Yep. So there's our finished product. I'm going to try a little sample of the finished one. If you don't mind. Please, go for it. And you could top it with something. You could add some avocado slices. Mm. You could add a nice little green salad with some fruit. Um, it's just, it's great. It's really versatile. You can do so much with it. It's super tasty. Do you like it? And you wouldn't believe it's made from chickpeas. Yeah. I mean, so what's what? kind of the health benefit of a chickpea? Because so I just don't think of chickpeas very often. I in my know, life. I know, but we're gonna bring we're bringing chickpeas back. Um, <laughs> fiber and plant-based fiber and protein that's very low in fat um, is really sort of the magic. And I'm not afraid of fat, but I think it's a great substitute for dishes that tend to just traditionally be a little too a little too high in some of those fats. So when you say plant-based fiber. 
You mean like we're not doing the processed cereals or things like that with fiber yeah, added? Yeah, exactly. This is one straight that's just... from the earth, exactly. Um, and it's great for your digestion, and it's going to be great for your inflammation, any inflammation you have in your body. So this is just a great um, and family-friendly recipe. And, and can you see? I'm almost done. <laughs> I love it so much. I can tell she really does like it. I, I can tell she no, really does I'm like it. I'm super loving this. And yeah. sometimes when you do something healthy, you don't want to feed it to a crowd. Yeah. This definitely nails it. This is not, don't be afraid. Do oh, it. Oh, good. I'm glad you mentioned that. You can also do this um, in, uh, if you have a different shaped pan and you wanted to cut it into squares, because it also is oh, great yeah. for something a like a square. potluck or a picnic or something like that. Perfect. So, yeah. Laura Lee recipes at llbalance.com. This recipe at todayinnashville.com. Definitely put it in your little wheelhouse of things to go to. It's Thank so you. good. Thank you.